Hey, hi you guys. Uh, I want to show you. I'm going to take a bath this morning. I'm still here at Alcala National Forest. And I uh, want to just give you a short uh, demonstration of the bathroom setup that I have in the van. Remember, this is a Chevrolet uh, van. It's an Express 1500. I don't have too much space inside but uh, I managed to put the setup for the bathroom which is right here everything here that's the bathtub the water I have uh, seven gallons of water here in uh, four PVC cylinders and I managed to put that uh, bathroom with the bed here but I can't put both at the same time so either I have the bed down or the, the bathtub down well, it's, it's working. It's working. I had uh, Friday and yesterday, Saturday. So I want to show you real quick how easy it is. I have two locks here. Uh, there's the back top. I don't know if you guys can see it. down and I have I can't stand in my van so I use a small stool to sit and uh, I have the shower curtains there which they go all the way around and let's see if I can Move this here. Okay. So let me show you real quick. I have the four PVC oh uh, they are like uh I'll we'll probably say two and a half feet or three feet each one. So it gives me seven gallons of water. I have my shower head here. And I have a pump. It's right there. No, that's that's one of the heater coils. The pump is is down there first one that's the pump and it's connected to a line that goes underneath the band I can fill it fill them up uh, through a connection that I have outside which I'm gonna show you later and I have another one the driver side so I can fill it up with a hose from uh, both sides of the band Okay, I'm gonna do a quick insert in the video here. I have, uh, I'm gonna show you the the intake water connection. I have my electric connection here, my AC uh, band here. It has a magnetic cover, and I have the intake here. One intake here. Let me see if, if you guys can see it. There it is. So I can either take out the water or fill it up from here. And let me show you the other side. Okay, this is the driver side. 
you can see the PVC coming here. And if we go down, that's the other one. So I can fill it up from with the hose from both sides. I have a uh, yeah, heater thermometer, so it will give me here the temperature of the water. And what else? What else? I have an extra hose. This one works with uh, gravity. And the line that goes outside. Uh, as I told you, the curtains right there. They move around all the way. And you get inside. I have an LED di uh, light here and the other side I have the uh, uh, extractor fan, the fantastic fan, I usually put both and I use this one, this uh, bathroom on uh, Walmart, uh, it was Friday night so I did it there and it works really fine. I didn't have to heat the water, it was really hot the day, so a cold shower for me that night. But uh, this is something simple, as soon as I finish what I do is uh, for example here that and in the forest, don't have any neighbors, so what I usually do I leave this open. And uh, just move the the the, the showers all the way, and uh, with the sun and uh, the wind blowing here, they get dry, and then uh, just put it back in place. Flip this up. We're gonna show you now, and that's it. You get a bath right there in a Chevrolet Express band <laughs> uh, it's simple I did this with fiberglass so, I don't know it's an idea for you guys just put it in there uh, just in case you want to do something like this and you can get a shower I did the uh, one bath Friday, one Saturday, and one today. So it has been with seven gallons. I know that I can do better, but uh, with seven gallons, I can get uh, three showers. I'm gonna show you how this put it back off. It is simple. Put the contents here. Simple as that. So that's how I get my bath shower in the bed. Uh, you like the video? Just subscribe, click the thumb up. And see you guys next time. See you on the road.